I know you've been wondering what is it like to be interviewed by Bob Wells and the CRVL crew. Where does he meet these people? Where does he shoot the videos? Do you hang around a fire pit for a couple days singing kumbaya first? Maybe you hammer back a fifth of hard liquor, then get the camera out. Well, I'm Box Truck Corey. This is my Box Truck RV conversion, and I had the pleasure of being interviewed by the guru himself, Bob Wells, only a few months ago. Right now, I'm up north, enjoying the city life in Toronto. All this traffic noise sure is different than the desert, but I wanted to get this video up just so you would know what it's like. Stay tuned. Not only am I going to tell you what it's like, I am going to show you. Bubba Box Truck Corey. Well, guys, just now pulled into Camp Bob, coming in to get a video, an interview done for Cheap RV Living Channel. I'm sure you all know about Bob Wells and Cheap RV Living, but if you don't, go check out his channel. He's the guru. And, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll show you here. Getting some bacon and some eggs cooking. I literally just parked two minutes ago. I got my drinks out of the cabinet, threw some food on, and I am hungry. I'll show you around a bit while the bacon's cooking. It's a great area. A couple miles in off the road. I was able to park on the underside of this little berm, this hill over here. And that's where everyone else is and where they're doing the video shoot. That's awesome because the dogs, they can't see anything, they won't bark. There's silence. Can't see anybody. Camp Bob. An undisclosed location in the Arizona desert. Best get back in here and check on the bacon. Place is a mess. I gotta clean it up. Oh, I think it's burning. Damn. Not good. Not good. What do we have here? Ah, it's not ruined. We have some raw bacon left. Problems arise when I try and do too much at once. Talking to you and trying to cook at the same time. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. I'm going to, uh... Mmm. I know, smells good, huh? I'm going to enjoy this. We're only a few hours away from the interview and truck tour with Bob, the guru. We've got the girls here. They're just finishing up breakfast. I've got my disinfectant wipes. And I'm getting cleaning. I don't know if it shows in the videos or not, but the desert... It's a very dusty, sandy place. So let's see if we can clean this up and spiff it up. Put out the nice bedspread, sofa cover, and make this place look some more presentable. Got my shop vac. Doing some vacuuming. Putting some building materials over there. Pretty quiet area of the desert, an undisclosed place in Arizona. Actually, I guess we're technically in California. I've been here five days. Not a single car, not a single rig has come down this road and passed me. As you can see, 
There's no one here but me. You can maybe see a little. Can you see anything poking out up there? Zoom in. That's where the photo shoot is, guys. That's where I'm heading to. Well, let's get back to cleaning. Not my favorite task and kind of an endless routine here in the desert, but I guess now and again, you gotta clean your house. So, today's my day. Okay. Well guys, we're heading over to Camp Bob. I'm gonna show you the way, get the video shoot done. Not sure about the time zones here, if it's now or in an hour from now, so I'm gonna head over. The girls came up front, even though it's full of tools. They, uh, they don't like to be in the back when we're driving. I was hoping they'd stay back there, given that I filled the front with tools, but no such luck. Settle down, girls. Settle down. They don't like this at all. You put stuff in our seats. A little bit of a wash to drive through here, but I've been watching that there's no rain. I'm a little ways back from where they're filming because I didn't want to disturb them with power tools and generators. You can hear the desert pinstripe bang. Hello. Hey Bob, I'm two seconds away, just ready to pull right in. I, yeah. I, I just I just realized that yeah my phone is showing the different time and I'm like you know I better get over there. <laughs> my apologies, I am literally 20 seconds away. Oh no, the guru. Oh boy, it's a little rough through here. I should drive slower, but I'm keeping the guru waiting. It's going to be a good test of the shit in the back, see if it holds up. I think that might be him on the hill there. Oh, slow down here. Another fairly big drop. Is that his van there? Could be, could be. That's about where the film shoot area is. We're just coming up over this hill, and that's where it is. I'm running late, I'm five minutes late, maybe seven. This is the other vehicles that he's been shooting, I believe. Oh, I recognize the green bus. That's Michelle's green bus. Oh, there comes Bob. There's the guy. I feel like an idiot, but what are you gonna do? I'm going to shut off and talk to the man. Oh, girl, you're always in the way. Say hi, Dopey. This is where we're doing the film shoot for Bob. You can see... Bob's van over there. Cliff, his photographer, his videographer, but it's just a nice open area in the desert. It's a great spot, really. So next, we shot Bob's video, and if you haven't seen it yet, here is the screenshot on his page. Check it out. It was very well done, I thought. So if you're looking for the video, you haven't seen it guys that's the thumbnail of the interview and uh, 
the uh, box truck tour. This is uh, just the, the video list for Cheap RV Living YouTube channel. Stay tuned, guys. More info coming on what it's like chatting and interviewing with Bob Wells. How did it go? Let's get back to the campsite and I will give you my interpretation of my 15 minutes of fame with Bob Wells. We're gonna head back, back into the desert. Do some more building. You know what they say about the fork in the road, don't ya? We're gonna take the road less traveled. This is the furthest into the BLM areas that I've been so far. Beautiful area though. There's just nobody here. Five days. Nobody has driven by my camp. It's about, I don't know, another mile or so further down this BLM road. Another tight area, guys. But I don't mind scraping down the side of the box truck. I really don't. It's not going to hurt anything. But we made it back. It was a success. Look at this, guys. Let's see what carnage happened in here. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't have much water in there. You know, you gotta actually use the latching devices or it doesn't work. I don't know. What am I gonna do? Wasn't too bad though. I gotta remember to latch things up before I head out. Yes. Thank you, Dopey. Thank you, thank you. So I think it went pretty good. The tour with the guru, Mr. Bob Wells of Cheap RV Living fame. Well, as you saw, Bob likes his privacy, his own space. He didn't have us camping right with him. We were nearby camping in the area. And uh, you know, when we got there, we met Casey her little cute dogs. She set us up with the time to come back to this specific spot for the video shoot. And uh, basically, we were just invited to camp around the general area. And uh, we only met Bob during our specific shoot. He was a little bit away from us on a different BLM road nearby, but not right where those of us being interviewed were camped. There was no kumbaya singing around a fire pit, no getting drunk, none of that, none of that at all. But I did learn of an awesome new camping spot in that area where we were filming. Probably my favorite spot yet. Really did enjoy it. And I gotta say, I was tickled pink. Meeting Bob, being interviewed, ah, it was just a wonderful experience. You know, Bob is a big part of why I am living this lifestyle. It was his videos that taught me where to go in the Southwest, how to camp for free. You know, I was used to the, the east end of the country paying for campgrounds. I didn't know about all the open free camping and BLM and National Forest. So it was just, ah, uh, it was just a pleasure meeting Bob, and I am so thankful for the opportunity. You know, the Howa charity that Bob is president of is doing some wonderful things. And Bob, for decades now, has been putting the word out, showing people how to live cheap, live in the RV lifestyle. And I would encourage you to support Howa, support Bob's effort, he has done so much to help the community. 